My beloved child, in this earthly journey, you will encounter many trials, and among these, the challenges of lust are both pervasive and subtle in their ability to undermine your spiritual and moral integrity. Remember, I spoke to those gathered around me and to you across the ages during my Sermon on the Mount. I said, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew 5, 27 to 28. This profound insight into human behavior underscores the necessity of purity, not just in actions, but in thoughts as well, for it is in the heart where the true battle is fought. The struggle with lust, a common human experience, reflects the broader conflict between the spirit and the flesh. This conflict is a central theme in the lives of my followers. Understand that your body and spirit often desire contrary things. As I have taught through my Apostle Paul, for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want. Galatians 5.17 This battle is not unique to you, but is common to all humanity. It is a manifestation of the broader struggle between good and evil, light and darkness. Temptation itself is not sin, my child. It is a test of your faith and love for me. Even I, during my time on earth, was tempted in every way, yet I did not sin. This is to show you that being tempted is not a failure, but giving in to temptation is where the challenge lies. When you face these temptations, remember that I am with you, ready to offer the strength and grace you need to overcome them. No temptation has overtaken you, except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 In moments when you feel overwhelmed by the lures of this world, come to me in prayer. Prayer is your lifeline to divine assistance. It is through sincere and heartfelt prayer that you draw upon my strength. In your prayers, lay down your struggles and confess your weaknesses. There is great power in confession, not only before me, but also among your brothers and sisters in faith. As James pointed out, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. James 5.16 Moreover, remember that you are not alone in your efforts to overcome sin. The Holy Spirit resides within you as a guide, counselor, and helper. The Spirit helps to convict you of sin, not to condemn you, but to lead you to repentance and transformation. The fruits of the Spirit, as Paul describes, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are the very attributes that counteract the impulses of lust. Galatians 5, 23 Cultivate these fruits by walking in the Spirit daily, allowing His power to transform your desires. To aid in your battle against lust, immerse yourself in the Scriptures. My word is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4:12. By meditating on my word, you allow it to reshape your thinking, guiding you to reflect on what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, or praiseworthy. Philippians 4, 8. This meditation creates a fortress in your mind, protecting you against the intrusions of sinful thoughts. Do not underestimate the importance of fellowship with other believers. The church is not just a gathering of individuals, it is a body of believers united in purpose and spirit. In this community, you find support, accountability, and encouragement. Engage deeply with your church community, participate in its sacraments, and commit to its gatherings. Here, 
you are reminded of my teachings and your identity in me, strengthened not just by one pastor or leader, but by the collective ministry of all the saints. Living in the world, you are constantly bombarded by messages and images that can incite lust. From advertisements to movies, the culture around you often glorifies sexual immorality and objectifies the human body, making it increasingly difficult to remain pure in thought and deed. This is where the call to be in the world, but not of the world, becomes paramount. You must navigate this environment with discernment and wisdom, choosing what to expose yourself to and guarding your heart and mind against influences that lead you away from me. Holiness is both a gift and a calling. It is something imparted to you by my grace but it also requires your active participation and dedication. Foster personal discipline through practices like fasting, silent meditation, and contemplative prayer. These spiritual disciplines help you to deny the flesh, focus on the spiritual, and connect more deeply with me. Finally, my child, know that in me, you have the hope of redemption. Despite your failures and falls, my love for you remains steadfast. My sacrifice on the cross was sufficient to cover all your sins, past, present, and future. Live in this freedom, not as an excuse to sin, but as a motivation to pursue holiness out of love for me. As we journey together toward the light of holiness, let my love be your constant guide and my spirit your continual helper I am with you always, my beloved child, offering my strength for your weakness, my wisdom for your confusion, and my love for your loneliness. Together, we will overcome the trials of this world, including the pervasive challenge of lust. As we near the end of our journey today, remember my beloved child, the road to overcoming lust and nurturing purity is not one walked alone. Through the teachings I have given, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom found in Scripture, and the support of your church community, you are well equipped to face and triumph over the temptations that confront you. Embrace the power of prayer, the importance of fellowship, and the personal discipline required to foster holiness in your life. Guard your heart and mind Cultivate the fruits of the Spirit and rely on my strength in moments of weakness. In all these things, know that I am with you always, guiding, supporting, and loving you through every challenge and victory. Do not be discouraged by setbacks, but be encouraged by progress, no matter how small. Each step taken in faith is a step closer to me and the life I have called you to lead. So go forth with courage and conviction, my child. Live out your faith in a world that needs the light of my love and truth. And as you continue on this path, remember to nurture your relationship with me, for it is through this relationship that true transformation occurs. Thank you for spending this time with me today. If this message has touched your heart, I encourage you to share it with others who might also benefit. Subscribe for more insights and guidance on your spiritual journey. Walk in faith, knowing that you are never alone. God bless you. And remember, I am always with you.